This video helps beginners to prepare for an embark. Whenever a dwarven civilization embarks to found a new fortress, it sends seven dwarves and a couple of draft animals pulling a wagon fully packed with some basic tools and supplies. When you embark, the game gives you the option to play now with seven somewhat unskilled dwarves and a default set of supplies, or prepare for the journey carefully. While the basic set of supplies is surprisingly useful for most embarks, leaving with dwarves of meagre skills is a little inconvenient. Preparing for the journey carefully allows you to distribute a limited amount of skill points among the dwarves to boost certain skills they may need or need to acquire in the game and modify the basic supplies you'd be taking with you. Peridex's Errand's starter pack provides so-called embark profiles listed in pale blue, which would load some pre-configured skill set for the dwarves and some embark supplies. Since each embark scenario and each player's intentions how to play it are different, it makes good sense to prepare for each embark individually. This tutorial will present a workable set of skills for easy embarks, but feel encouraged to experiment a little and modify these to your liking. This is the screen for the skill assignment. In the left column you see the list of the seven dwarves selected for the journey. For each of them you have ten skill points available to distribute. In the right column you see the skills and a degree of proficiency in each of these skills for the Dwarf which is currently highlighted in the left column. Dwarves normally live in a mountain where they hollow great halls and mine for resources to work with. Therefore it is a good idea to take at least one miner. Use the arrow keys to focus on the right column to assign some skills for the first Dwarf. At the bottom right you see how many points you have available to buy skills or supplies. Improving this dwarf's minor skill by one level would cost 5 points. Press the plus key on the numpad to improve it. To improve it further by one level is more expensive, 6 points, then 7 points and so on. A competent miner should be sufficient because in a moment we will also buy some mining skills for another dwarf to help him. Scroll down with the arrow key or page up, page down keys to find the stonecrafter skill and make him an adequate stonecrafter as well. He will use the mined stones to craft various things for the fortress. Stonecrafts can also be used to buy things from a visiting caravan. Next useful skill at the beginning is mechanics. You will find it further down on the next page of the skill list. Mechanics are experts in setting traps, making bridges race or retract, building hospital appliances like traction benches, etc. This dwarf will also be an adequate mechanic. Return to the left column, highlight the second dwarf, then return to the right column to buy skills for him. Make him an adequate miner and a skilled mechanic. Let our third dwarf be a competent carpenter, novice wound dresser, diagnostician, surgeon, bone doctor and suturer. The next dwarf will be a competent diagnostician. It will be easy for him to tell if a wound is infected or not, which can save valuable lives. He will also be a novice building designer or architect. Certain constructions like bridges require to be designed by an architect before their construction can start. Conveniently, we will make him a skilled mason too. The next dwarf will be a farmer, that is, a grower. Competent is good enough. He will also know some threshing, a skill needed to adequately extract fibers from plants to make thread. Adequate bowyer skill will help him to build crossbows and, as a novice bone carver, he'll be able to craft bolts from bones from butchered animals. Our sixth dwarf will be a hunter. Make him a skilled crossbowman and a competent ambusher to easily sneak up on wild animals. 
His other skills will be novice appraiser, novice negotiator, which will be useful for trading with caravans, and novice cook. Make the next dwarf a skilled axeman and a skilled fighter. Since he will carry an axe, he can also be a novice woodcutter. Last but not least, we need somebody who will brew drinks. Dwarves need alcohol to get through the working day. We are now ready to take a look at the items and supplies we will be taking with us. Use the tabulator key to switch the view to the items list. In the left column we see the list of items, in the right column we see the list of animals we'd embark with. The two draft animals which will pull our wagon are not listed. In the items list you see some underground plants and their seeds which you may not be familiar with yet. They will turn out to be very useful. Feel free to read up on them in the wiki. Modifying the amount of things we bring works similar to assigning skills with plus or minus. If you want to add a new item which is not yet listed, press N and follow the instructions to find what you are looking for. Back in the items list we see that we have one surplus axe and an iron anvil we won't need any time soon and other less necessary or easily craftable items. Sell one copper axe, the iron anvil, the wheelbarrow and the stepladder. Our hunter needs a crossbow. In the new item page type crossbow and select copper crossbow. He will also need some ammunition. For the crossbow this is bolts. Use the same procedure to add one copper bolt to our item list. Then use the plus key to increase the number of bolts to about 50. Now focus on the list of animals and buy a breeding couple of dogs. Make one of them a hunting dog for the hunter. Cats are also very useful animals. They hunt vermin and thus protect our food stockpiles. Buy a couple of cats. Sheep, alpacas and llamas are good farming animals. They can be sheared, milked or slaughtered for food, leather and bones. Not every dwarven civilization has all three species domesticated, but if you have the chance, bring a couple along. Spend the rest of the embark points to your liking. Bringing some poultry, for example, can help to survive the winter or buy some seeds, food or drinks. Don't be afraid to deviate from this embark profile. Many other combinations of skills, items or animals will serve you just as well or even better. Once you have become familiar with the game, you will be able to tailor the embark profile to exactly suit your individual needs and intentions. Now it is time to finally start your fortress. Press E to embark on your journey.